YouTube, what is going on, guys? No, it's not you, man. Average, your boy, man, elite. Back with another video today. Hope you guys are doing fantastic today, guys. We got a fire defensive tip for you guys. Uh, so we're gonna go over here. I'm already in the game. We got to do this in game, not in practice mode, because zone drops do not work in practice mode. And this particular defense, this particular adjustment, is gonna require you to have zone drops for this 335 wide defense if you guys have been playing a lot of madden you guys know this pa boot over is one of the best plays in the game you're gonna block and it's pretty much set up like this right this post that aj green is on we're not gonna run it with aj green he's too slow but this post that he's on is gonna get over everything if a deep half is on the right side it's gonna get over it if you have a quarter on that right side and you're running wide again this adjustment is going to be specifically for wide there's other ways to defend it in dollar there's other ways to defend it in two four five odd we're not going to be going over those adjustments and there's like a couple other ways to defend it in wide that are a little bit more complex and take a little bit more adjusting but that's going to be in a future defensive ebook right now we're going to be focusing on this one adjustment really not even an adjustment you have to move your player to a certain spot on the field to be able to guard this. So we'll go ahead and call bunch tight end PA boot over a beater that everybody has been hit with at some point. So we're going to go on over. What we're going to do is we're going to set any of your zone drops, not on default. It doesn't matter what zone drop you choose. You could have hooks at zero. You could have hooks at five. What I would suggest for this defense, this is going to be a defense where we're going to be sending pressure. So Against bunch tight end, we're going to be base aligned, turn auto flip on, and we're going to have hooks at five yards. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to be using any hook zones, but since we have zone drops on, it cancels the match. We're going to be audibling over here, so it doesn't really matter what play we call here. We're going to call cover Tampa 2, I guess, and we're going to audible on over to cover 4. Typically, if you have zone drops off, if you have everything at default, every single one of these zones are going to match to somebody. But since we have zone drops on, we have our hooks at five yards. Remember, these zones are not going to match. They're, they're going to do exactly what they're supposed to do. These quarters are going to guard deep. The only issue is I'll go ahead and show you guys. This is a really good defense to run, by the way. The only issue is when you do this, it's really hard to stop this bomb. We'll go ahead and roll out and you guys can see that bomb is just butt naked. We'll overthrow it. That's fine. I'm going to go ahead and punt the ball back on the other side. So we have more field to work with. All right, so we're gonna come out in this 335 normal again, audible over to cover four. And this is pretty much what the setup is going to look like. Not gonna go over the setup too much. It's pretty easy to set up, um, but there's two ways that the setup, but there's two ways that the beater is set up. I'll go ahead and spy everybody just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Go and spy everybody and we'll go ahead and run this beater. And you guys can see that deep post by X. You can throw that for a wide open touchdown. The other way that this play is set up is with the slant and keeping that this middle guy in a streak. So Hopkins is going to be on a streak. This guy's going to be on the slant. And there's just going to be three routes on the field, right? We're going to go ahead and set up the defense. Go ahead and just spy everybody so you guys can see that it gets open doing both setups we'll go ahead and hike this on offense make sure we're set up we'll go ahead and hike this and you see that deep post is still getting wide open you can throw that I'm not going to throw it right now all right guys so this is what we are going to do we're going to audible over to cover four we're going to press we're going to do this we're going to blitz everybody we want to send pressure at this beater we want to make sure they have the least amount of time that they can possibly have in order to throw this this beater we want to get the pressure in as fast as we can so we're going to send all of the all of the linebackers we're going to send five here and just for this again we are going to spy everybody we're not going to rush anybody all you have to do is make sure this guy's 15 yards from the line of scrimmage i think i said 20 yards earlier definitely not 20 yards that would be like way back here you want to make sure he's about 15 yards from the line of scrimmage after you press and that's it you just have to move him back and i'll go ahead and run the play and you guys can see how this just doesn't get open he keeps backing up he keeps backing up the safety's there and he ends up running with it and that's just not open now hopefully this defensive tip does help you guys out a lot of people love running these beaters 
I'm going to have more tips like this on the channel. If you guys did find this helpful, be sure to smash that like button. Helps out the channel a ton. And if we see a lot of likes on this video, I can see that you guys really do enjoy these tip videos. So yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video. As always, stay safe. Peace.